Hi everyone, here's a quick video on getting your Adobe Illustrator workspace set up. There's a few changes we need to make, some toolbars, a couple things to turn on. Uh, so let's get started. This is most likely your first time Adobe Illustrator, so it would be best to, for you to also open Adobe Illustrator and kind of follow along with me on this video. If you weren't aware, when you are on YouTube watching a video, you can use the space bar to start and stop or pause the video as you uh, go through and do some of the things that we go over in this video. All right, so well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up just a blank document. So I'm going to come over here on the left side and go to Create New, or if you would also kind of come up here to File New also. Either way, they both work. So I'm going to click on Create New. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I have letters set up right here. These are recent items for me. They might not show up for you. So we're going to pop over here to Print up across the top. I'm going to go to Print, change it to Letter, which is basically just a regular sheet of printer paper. And uh, we're going to make a few changes. First, we're going to change the units to inches. Uh, 612 points might not mean a whole lot, but if we switch it to inches, 8.5 by 11 is just a standard sheet of paper. And then we're also going to switch the orientation to landscape, which basically means a sideways sheet of paper. All right, so we have 8.5 by 11 inches. Orientation is landscape. Go ahead and click Create. All right, so here's our first setup. And when you use Illustrator for the first time, what you are going to see is that this toolbar on the left is just a single wide. The first thing I like to do is make this into a double wide, and I'll make sense in a moment here. So we're going to click on these little double arrows up here, the top left, a little looks like a little fast forward, and it changes this into a double wide. And that allows us to see our fill and our stroke, which fill is what's on the inside of an object. The stroke is basically a border. Next thing you need to do is come up here to the top and go to Window and click Control. That needs to be checkmarked. That has a lot of options up here across the top that are going to become very, very useful for you. Third, what I need you to do is we're going to open up a couple extra toolbars that we're going to use frequently. All your optional toolbars are going to be under Window. The first one I'm going to do is come down to Window and scroll down to Swatches. It is alphabetical order, so Window Swatches right here. And Let's go ahead and open that one up. Now, it may or may not appear by itself. When you first open it, it might be attached to the side like this. Since Swatches is a toolbar I use quite frequently, I'm going to come right up here to the tab, click and drag and peel it off. The next one we're going to go ahead and open right now is the Stroke Toolbar, right here on your Stroke Toolbar. Now, when you first start, let me pull this off to the side. Here's my Stroke Toolbar. I'm going to click on the word Stroke, the little tab, click, peel it off. And transparency, we're going to go ahead and close this. All right. Now, over here on the right-hand side, you already have properties. This is kind of a good one to uh, have open. You'll notice that this one changes to whatever you're working on. More for this one later. But on your stroke toolbar, it doesn't have a whole lot other than the weight, which is basically the thickness. But what you're going to need to do is click on the three bars right here underneath the X and click on Show Options. All right. So these are two really important toolbars that I'd like to keep open whenever I'm working at Adobe Illustrator, swatches and stroke. Now, a couple more changes are going to be for our document preferences. Right now, I don't have anything on my document or I'm clicking on my artboard. So preferences is right here. But if you don't see preferences for some reason, I'm going to come up here to edit preferences. And let's start at the very top one, which is general. And on our preferences, my preference is to click on scale corners and strokes and effects. That way, if something has a border and you make it double big, the stroke or the border will also be double big. So scale corners, strokes and effects. You're going to come down here to user interface down on the right hand side, user interface. And we'll leave the brightness alone, but canvas color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this to white. And this basically change, it takes the outside, our whole work or area to be white. That's why I like to do a lot of my sketches and ideas are off of my page, off of my artboard. And last but not least, to find this easier, I'm going to come down to performance and uncheck animated zoom. And go ahead and click OK. All right, here we are. Your workspace should be all set up and uh, be ready to use Adobe Illustrator. Get ready for the next videos.